Hello Capricorn, I'm going to be doing your How They Feel About You reading. This will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or in a, some or are in some sort of a connection with someone. Um, you know the drill, this will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not try to make it fit if this is not your story. It just means it wasn't your reading this time around. If you have other signs in your chart that are more prominent, then check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. And we're just going to get right into it for Capricorn. We're going to be looking at your person's feelings, um, what they're thinking about you, uh, or about the connection and their true intentions. So let's get some insight, please, Spirit, for Capricorn regarding the person they are thinking about. What does Capricorn need to know regarding their person? And um, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments as well, good and bad. So thank you for the support, um, especially those of you that take the time to leave such nice comments. All right, so let's see, Capricorn. What's Capricorn need to know? I want that one. Okay, so we're starting off with doubt. So your person's feeling doubtful about this connection. Maybe they are doubting a decision they've made or doubt is blocking them from making a decision because I have courage here right after that came after doubt. So it's like whatever they're doing or thinking, excuse me, they need courage to follow through here. Maybe they're lacking courage because they're doubting. And then imagination, creative aspect of the mind. Interesting. So this is something to do with their with their thoughts. This is something to do with their thoughts. So it might be that they need to have courage in order to manifest what they've been imagining. It's almost like, I feel like they're, for some of you here, this person, Capricorn, doubts that you feel the same way or that maybe this is all in their head. This connection, how you feel about each other. <clears throat> so let's see. I'm going to use my homemade Oracle deck to see what would this person tell you? What would this person tell Capricorn if they could spare it? What would this person say to Capricorn if they had the chance? What would this person say to my Capricorns? They had the chance. Um, by the way, guys, feel free to flip this if it resonates better. So I could be talking about you today, this whole spread, or it could be about your person from your person's point of view. Ooh, we got karmic situation. So either you are in a karmic situation or your person here is thinking of a karmic situation that they are in. Ooh, I have changed reversed. So nothing has changed. What's at the bottom? I wasn't ready, so that's why. Okay, so your person, if you're wait hoping or waiting for your person to change their mind or to change as a person, they're not ready to do that yet. Possibly because they're in a karmic situation or dealing with a karmic partner. So what's going on in this connection? Let's get some insight. Let me move this up a little. Can you guys see? Oops. Okay. Let's get some insight about this connection with some romance angels. Spirit, tell me some information regarding this connection. All of the decks that I use are in the description box. If you're curious, that was the Souls, um, the Souls Journey Lesson Cards. And this is the Romance Angels, although these are out of print. I should probably make a little note down 
the description box is out of print. Anyways, for Capricorn Spirit, what do they need to know? What can you tell me about this connection? We'll have two there. Okay, so we have codependency reverse. So you've, when it came to this person or this connection, um, there was a release of an, an unhealthy attachment here. Calling in your soulmate, manifesting. What happened in this connection between Capricorn and this person? What insight can you give me, spirit, into this connection? Oops. What happened here? Oh, okay. That is way too many. Oh, hi, Leon. <laughs> my dog is just like chilling at my feet, so. Oops. All right. What else do I need to know, Spirit, for Capricorn? Trust reversed. Okay, so there's a lack of trust here. And, you know, maybe it's because your person lacks courage. And, and so you don't trust that they're going to actually follow through here. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. Okay. Interesting. I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm reading for today, you guys, in your mind, you're thinking you deserve better. So it might be that this person knows that what they have to offer you right now is not even close to what you deserve here. And so it's almost like they're talking themselves out of something here. Like they're, they're, they're letting their doubt play with their head or play with their emotions. So let's get into your person's true feelings and intentions towards you. Spirit. What are this person's true feelings? What are they thinking about Capricorn or this connection at this time? Using the light seers pearl, which I can never shuffle. What are this person's true intentions or feelings towards Capricorn? What is this person's true thoughts or feelings towards Capricorn or this connection. So I'm going to do a simple spread. I'm going to be pulling a few cards for your person's true thoughts or feelings, and then a few cards for their true intentions towards you, um, because this is how they feel about you spread. So we're going to kind of be digging deep into how this person feels about you. And then in the extended, I'll be looking at what actions they'll take and potential outcomes there, as well as the challenges. So we'll see. Spirit, tell me what this person thinks or feels about Capricorn or this connection at this time for Capricorn. Oh, okay. Thank you. The Hermit. Virgo energy with the Hermit. So maybe they, uh, this could be interpreted a few ways. Either they feel like you have pulled away from them. There's distance here, possibly. Not, not a lot of communication. Or it could be that they have withdrawn from you. What are their thoughts? Or wow, Queen of Cups. This person has serious feelings for you, Capricorn. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Capricorn, please? Thoughts or feelings towards Capricorn or this connection. It's way too many. I feel like they're also thinking a lot about you. Like they're, again, that imagination card, fantasizing, imagining um, certain things here about you, this connection, their approach. Five of Swords reversed. So something happened here between you where now this person, it's like they have to overcome an obstacle to get to you. I 
um, I, I'm also getting here that it's almost like they're, again, beating themselves up. They want to overcome this difficulty. This person could have been a deceptive. This person could have been caught trying to take advantage of you or not being fair to you. There could have been a bad fight between you two. And it's like this person wants to move past that. However, they're not ready. It's at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. There's another queen. Some of you might be in a third party here. Between, and there's a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands that this person... I feel like... <clears throat> Your person could be trying to detach from a karmic situation because they're manifesting you. However, there's a lack of trust here. Someone is losing faith in the possibility of this happening. I feel like they know that they're not worthy of you, that, you know, they weren't ready before. And maybe now it's like when it's time for them to actually be ready, they don't have what it takes or they might not have an offer for you. And it could be because there's still kind of lingering effects of the past here, what happened. So let's see. Spirit, tell me about this person's true intentions. Okay. Tell me about this person's true intentions towards Capricorn. Oh, and there's the Queen of Wands. I'm hoping that this is just someone wanting to act, someone that feels passionate towards you, someone that is finally getting um, courage because the Queen of Wands, nothing holds her back. No, nothing stops her from achieving her goal. And then here we have the Two of Swords. This is that doubt, um, the overthinking, the not being sure, um, wanting to make a decision, choose a path, but you don't know. I think deep down they want success. They want victory with you. I feel like they want to win you. But again, it's almost like their mind is playing with them. Or even there's there, this could be an interference, this queen of wands. So let's get into this. Six of Wands with Eight of Wands. Communication, movement. So let's see, Spirit, help me clarify. Help me clarify these messages for Capricorn, please. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the hermit here? Hangman. Hey Makes perfect sense to me. Someone who's hesitating, um, having clarity, having some sort of... Um, what's the word? It'll come to me. But... This is a card about someone who is not moving. They're hanging around in suspension, possibly hesitating. Um, it could be that they are seeing things differently, having a new perspective. Um, but at the same time, there's no action with the hermit. I think they're looking at whatever difficulty or conflict, whatever unhealthy attachment or um, drama has been taking place either in the present or the past. They're seeing that in a new light. Tell me more about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? And this person is true. This is how they think about you or how they feel about you. So it's almost like all they're doing is thinking about you. <laughs> and then I have the seven of cups reversed. So again, clarity, there's clarity for your person and they're stuck in the past. 
Like this is about the past. Six of Cups reverse. They cannot let the past go because I think the past involves you in some way. Could have been that a past choice, whatever choice they made in the past, was not the right one. Tell me more about the Hermit, please. Ten of Cups reverse, definitely. It was very disappointing. Um, unhealthy, possibly draining. Your person could be in some sort of um, ex or experiencing some sort of family issues because I had the five of ones at the bottom and now I have the ten of cups reverse. This is like a, a broken family or or a, a, um, family issues, family troubles. If there's no family involved, this is someone that is extremely upset and their emotions are all over the place. There's there's huge disappointment here. And again, this is clarifying the hermit. So it's almost like, you know, the hermit is about someone that has withdrawn to figure things out, to plan their next move. Um, the hermit listens to their intuition and it guides them. And so I feel like their intuition is guiding them to see a choice that they made has kept them stuck. It's been disappointing. It's probably this karmic situation here. Tell me about the queen of cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yep. Heartbroken, Page of Cups reversed. Could be that someone also is unable to tell you how they feel. Even though this person feels very strongly for you, Capricorn, there could be a block here. Intuition um, reversed or high intuition <laughs> reversed. The high priest is reversed. Strong um, Pisces energy here. So here with the high priest is reversed, this is something that is being communicated or coming to light, a secret being unveiled. Um, it could also be that someone was ignoring their intuition. And then I have the three of pentacles reversed. So this could be, you know, a third party situation or something here that's just not working because someone's ignoring their intuition. Can I get one more? That's way too many. Kind of sloppy shuffle there. Can I get one more for this Queen of Cups, please? For Capricorn. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Higher font reversed. Taurus energy here with the higher font reversed. Broken commitment. Oh yeah, this this ended. This was something that already happened. Your person might have broken a commitment because they were not thinking clearly here. There could have been a breakup between you that was very disappointing for your person, heartbreaking. Um, and or, or they might have broken up with you, but they still loved you. And it's like they're healing from that or wanting forgiveness because of that. If your person did not break up with you, this is something they want to do now, wherever they are. It's almost like they want to speak up about what has happened. Let's see, what's this Five of Swords reversed about? What's this Five of Swords reversed about? Ooh, yeah, that, this was a bad fight. This was like words were exchanged with the Queen of Swords reversed, another queen. There could be three people here. Queen of Swords reverse. Um, they twist the truth. There could have been lies. Um, someone that was very hurtful, angry, vindictive. Could have been a bad communication. This this could have brought about an ending with the death card. A lot of major arcana here. Scorpio energy there. Can I get one more for the Five of Swords reverse? Yeah, this. Ooh, yeah. And walking away. And there's the fourth queen. Something ended and someone walked away because of like a fight or something deceptive. I feel like there was some sort of breakup here. A lot of people here, guys. I have four people on the table right now with King of Wands is reverse at the bottom of the deck as well. You could have walked away from this person because you were over their BS. Um, because this, this Queen of Pentacles came out with the 
Eight of Cups, and that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy there. Very stable energy. Um, Queen of Swords reverse is someone, like I said, like they're just messed up. So I feel like something has already happened that your person is still thinking about that possibly has to do with a breakup of some sort between you and this person. Some sort of separation here. So let's look at their two, true intentions. What's this Two of Swords about? What's this decision about? What's this Two of Swords about, Spirit? Knight of Swords reverse. Communication is terrible with this person. Either the communication is bad or there's lies or deception here. Tell me more about the Two of Swords reverse. Not reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords. I'm looking at the Knight of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. Wow, Six of Swords. I feel like your person in that Page of Pentacles reverse tried to come out earlier. Um, your person, I feel like, doesn't have resources or is thinking about finances when it comes to a departure. They want to move, transition um, towards something more peaceful, more balanced, but maybe they don't have the money or there's a delay here. Um, I feel like there's gen it's almost like your person has genuine emotion. They just don't know how to express it. It doesn't come out very well with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords reversed. There could be an apology here that your person wants to give you, but they're stuck in their head about it um, and they haven't really truly made a decision. It's almost like they want to apologize and leave a situation. But there's like a block here with the Knight of Swords reverse. This could indicate lack of like movement or just deception there. It could be that someone um, doesn't know how to express themselves or what they express is like brutal, harsh honesty. And so it's like terrible delivery. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Queen. Oh my goodness. Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is getting an Ace of Pentacles. I think, okay, so let me see, hold on. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, please. What can you tell me here? Ooh, the star. Aquarius energy, okay, one more. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so your person, I feel like this is you because I have the Five of Cups reversed and the Four of Cups reversed. Change of heart, change of mind here. Someone's changed their mind about a decision. Um, I think it's because they want they want to recover what was lost. They want to overcome the disappointment. They don't they don't want to be sad anymore or, or feel regret anymore. Um, I feel like this is you, Capricorn, because I feel like this is someone that wants to get back something that they lost. And it's almost like this here is the courage card. Your person's intention is to have courage so that they can get their wish here, so that they can make an offer, so that they can win you over once again. They want success, but at the same time, there's a two of swords. There's a decision that needs to be made, a path that needs to be chosen. There's like a stalemate here or like some sort of um, hesitation on your person. That's that doubt card. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands. Obviously, this is success, but tell me. Okay. Two of Wands reversed. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. There could be delays with the Two of Wands reverse. Someone could have waited too long. Well, they want to fight for you with the Seven of Wands. This person's willing to fight for this connection. And, you know, it's going to begin with healing from an ending. They're, they're standing their ground here. Like, they, they don't care what about the opposite. It's almost like they don't care that you might not receive them very well. Like, even if, like, this is you with all these, like, wands here, like, back off. 
And they're like chilling. They're like, no, I'm still going to fight for this. I'm going to defend what is mine. You know, <laughs> that's, that's just the, the message that I'm getting here. Now, I have the Three of Cups reversed right after that and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So again, I feel like your person is dealing with possibly uh, some sort of interference here that's family related. Or this is financial difficulty. Um, but in any case, you know, let me just make it very clear, Capricorns, that if this is somebody that was toxic because I have codependency, I'm just going to mention it because I have codependency re reversed. Um, if this person was a toxic person um, that ruined a connection between you and they want to come to you now, but haven't changed or released a situation they're currently in, then you need to not even consider them. This is not a reading where I'm going to tell you to accept someone like that. I would never say that anyway, but just want to make it very clear that if you've already detached from a toxic person, this is not a reading to encourage you to go back to someone like that. Someone's needing to have a serious change if that's the case. Um, someone needs to be ready to step up to the plate. I think your person has the right intention. I think the emotions are there. They're complicated because a lot has happened here. And it's like they've had a lot of time to think. You know, that hermit, hand man, that's someone that has had a lot of time to think. Um, there's been an ending here. Someone has walked away from a terrible fight or some sort of um, deception that occurred. Um, and your person, I feel like wants to move towards you again, or, you know, moving towards you because they're leaving another situation. But again, they, they, they have to get their act together. You know, when they come to apologize or express how they feel and, you know, when they, when they finally open up they need to open up with like fully like you know no going back after you open up let's build trust again if there's if trust is an issue um because i have the two of swords and the two of wands reversed so again this could be like some sort of block here or delay because of their own thinking their fears lack um their lack of courage you know, it's like you can have all the right intentions in the world, but if you're not ready to do things right, there is no success here. But I don't think that might be the, the problem because I have an Ace of Pentacles, I have Six of Wands, I have the Star, healing energy. It could be that your person wants to heal this connection again, ask for forgiveness, but they need to let, let the past go completely for that to happen is kind of what I meant to say there. You know, they need to make a decision and stick to it. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.